welcome to Straw Family Farm. I'm Christy. RJ is at a roping again. Um, his weekends are pretty full. There's two different series going on. One is on Saturday and runs really late, and one is on Sunday and runs really late. So I normally don't see him on the weekend anymore. <laughs> that should change here in the next couple of weeks, so that's okay. Um, it is December 3rd, the first day of Advent. So um, this is update number 162, I believe might be mistaken but I'm pretty sure it's 162 all right getting right on into it in the barn stalls what do we have going on um lucky went to his new home and he promptly escaped so RJ had to go and get him back <laughs> that was um, we took him like Wednesday morning or Thursday I can't remember which day it was but by Friday it had to be Wednesday morning because he made it like right at 24 hours and then Thursday we got the call that he escaped and then Friday RJ went and rounded him up I think but it might have been Saturday he went and rounded him up yeah he went and rounded him up on Saturday no he drove him home so anyway it was like right at 24 48 hours and he already escaped I told the lady she needed to put him in a pen until he got used to everything that she had around her home so uh, she thought for sure because he was going out with other steers the same kind as him um, that it would be better she thought it would be fine you know no it's not so um, yeah he found every hole in the fence she had to go fix fence she had to replace the neighbor's electric fence posts where he went through uh, and the thing is is he didn't do all the damage but he took everybody, like she has, I don't know, maybe four or five out there. And so he took everybody with him. So not only did he go through the fence, so did this big uh, steer with big long horns. He's a, a longhorn cross. And so, yeah, it's not funny, but it is because I warned her. You, you have to keep them penned until they get used to their new surroundings and such. But, uh, yeah, she didn't do that. RJ ended up going out there and uh, going and getting him and bringing him back home along with all the others. And they actually got him pinned in somebody else's corrals. And they had to take the truck and drive them two miles around to her place. <laughs> anyway, so that happened. Um, I've got one calf with a cough that will be doctored tonight. And then um, yesterday... Lee didn't turn out the calves in the barn, and they laid down too long, so I've got one that's a little rattly in the chest, um, but gave him a shot. He's up, out, and I turned them all out this morning, so they'll be wandering. Murphy's up, put up, so he's mad, but uh, I switched so that they could all mop graze Murphy's side. It, it gives it a rest, and then once a week, we let them over there, so um, I'm hoping in the summer or in the spring, when it, everything greens up, I can just start flipping the horse and, or the miniature donkey and the sheep maybe each month or so you know let them eat and graze and then go back and it, it'll so it'll be so that it's not so um, grazed down but anyway so um, with RJ gone Lee got called in to work today uh, so I kind of got up got the chores done I've got a mechanic coming to change some spark plugs in my truck and flush the old radiator and I've got to get out there and get the hay mangers done I'm gonna start putting them together what I can figure out so far my problem is I don't want to have a leg that sticks out I want it attached to the wall which is great where the join is you know where the corner is I can have it attached to this wall and I can have it attached to this wall and then out here there's no wall and I don't really want to put a leg on it so we will see I think I have an idea in mind but I just can't work it out in my head so I'm gonna see what I can do um, about that and uh, yeah we'll see how that goes <laughs> but uh, anyway um, I'm going to work on those today. I also have um, some stuff to do. Uh, I guess that would be in the garden. 
back up off track rabbit hole um as far as animals that is really all that's going on um Darf and ice are doing great out there in those stalls uh i just need to get their mangers done and then um everything is good we've got one more month of breeding and then the men go back in the man pen and the ladies all go to the pasture to get ready for birthing so um yeah let's see mending fences uh pretty much i haven't done a whole lot of work i've been stumped on those hay feeders i mean i spent two days just looking at my plants not being able to make any headway i do little things but nothing i could get done i i just uh, couldn't figure it out and so finally yesterday i just walked away and said i'm not even gonna look at it um we'll see what happens <laughs> that's all i can say um we do have to get a new water feeder out there for the uh, new horse run. And I found um, some spigots, some hydrants that I want to pick up. So we're going to put in plumbing. We're going to redo the plumbing that's in the first horse pen. And we're going to add plumbing to the third, fourth. One, two. The first one is between the first two. And the other one is right between the other two. So it would be... There's one pin that has water, another pin, and then it's right in the fence line. And this one's going to be two fence lines out. So it's going to be like the fourth. It's in the new horse run. We're going to add the new one. And that way the sheep can be filled from it. And we will not need as many hoses. I like that. I really do. So um, anyway, uh, we went to get the hydrants. And they said they had them online. They said they had five on hand. We got down there and they didn't have any. So, yeah. Um, let's see. That's coming up. <coughs> Today, I plan on cleaning up all the pumpkin uh, stems. I I'm going to say it. they're just about that much of the stem. But, um, yeah. I'm going to clean those up and get them in down to the compost pile. I've got some chicken poop down there. And... If I get to it today, I'm going to spread all that in the garden and kind of get it. Um, let's see. Yarn Farm. I am actually going to start spinning for uh, Wool Fest. I've got to get that done. And that means I'm going to um, start doing a bunch of um, carding. And I'm going to spin it before I dye it this year. I'm just going to. So, anyway. Uh I've got that going. Not really. I have sat and looked at this stuff. I did the grocery shopping, little stuff. Not I decorated for Christmas. Ah, that's in the farmhouse, though. So. Okay, so back on track. I'm just going down wormholes today. No RJ to keep me on track. Sorry. <laughs> and I'm not half as funny as he is, or as half as funny as he thinks he is. Um. So, all right. Where was I at? That was the yarn farm. Mending fences in the fields. Like I said, I've got some compost. I'm going to take the pumpkin tops and put them down in the compost pile. That's really, uh, we closed the garden down um, months ago. I do have that trellis video that I am going to put up. I just haven't got it edited together. And that's why I kind of like our thing. When Anytime we do one that we really want to put the whole information out there, it takes me forever to edit. So, um, yeah, I've got one on fencing. I've got one on the trellis. They'll get up. I just need time. And normally I do better in the winter, but it's been so nice outside. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, today I, I did chores just like this. I've got a little T-shirt on underneath, and then I've got my sweatshirt on. Nice. Um, anyway, so that's in the fields. In the farmhouse. Um, I went to Kuskengemacht and had a blast. I love it. Got Glühwein. Um, I actually, a Scandinavian lady taught me how to make Glühwein. Um, we can't get any good Glühwein here, but she taught me how, or told me how. I'm going to play with it. She says it's really simple. Um, <clears throat> I will see. I'm going to pick up a couple of bottles of red wine because they said find a, a good German red wine so I will be doing that and once I get that I'm going to play with it and maybe even put out a little bit of a recipe 
So um, we were laughing because she told me that I should join the German American Society. And I said, but I'm not German American. Um, and I'm not German. And I'm not German American. Uh, and uh, she looked at me and she goes, but you know more about it than, than most. And I said, yeah. And she goes, and besides, you don't have to be German or German American to join the German American Society. And I looked at her, I said, you probably do. She goes, honey, I'm Scandinavian. And I said, well, but you've got the accent and nobody questions it. She goes, good point. <laughs> they never asked her if she was German American. She joined the German American Society, but she's actually from Scandinavian, uh, Scandinavia. And she said that uh, they don't question. They just said, she says, they just don't question. <laughs> I said, okay. She says, it's my hobby. So, um, but she was making Glühwein there at the festival and she told me how. And she says, it's super simple. You just have to get it down to yours. She says, the difference is in what good red wine you use. She said, make, find a good, good red wine. So, yeah, I'll be looking for a good red wine. Uh, for those who don't know, Glühwein is like, mm, it's a wine version of apple cider. Best I can come up with. So, anyway, if I said it wrong and somebody's German and they're watching, they're going, yeah, whatever. Um, it's just good. It, it warms you through and through. Um, especially Klingelmacht is normally outside. Theirs is inside for weather reasons. Um, and they don't have a permit. You know, they have a an old church that they call the German American Center. And uh, so theirs is inside. Uh, but it is what it is. I will show you. I got a couple of treasures I'm really proud of. Um, first, I got this. Yeah, they are exactly what they look like, but they're made of chocolate. So you get a little sample of the liqueurs, and then you get a chocolate bottle to boot. Then I did pick up, I added to my um, little scene up here. And I picked up this little guy. I don't know why. He just spoke to me. He's like hand carved. Um, he's got little wires. He's connected with wire. He's not connected with. I wish he'd been connected with the old fashioned pegs. But he's not. I'm not going to hold it against him. And then I got my little schmokamon. And I plan on getting another one of these. Um, this is a very traditional thing. And what this is, is, and yes, I've done one. That's an incense. It, it's a, and I don't even know where my box of incense went. I bought traditional German incense. But these, you can see it's got a hole in the top. Oops. And when you do the incense, then you put your little thing on top. And it actually looks like smoke coming out of the chimney. I got, this one's called the Witch's House. Now, the reason for the Witch's House is because... It is from Hansel and Gretel, which is a German folk. I don't know. Do you guys read Hansel and Gretel here? I don't know if you've even heard that story. But anyway, um, this is Hansel and Gretel. They get lost from their father, and they end up meeting a witch with a candy gingerbread house. They start nibbling on the house. They get caught by her, and she wants to fatten them up to eat them so anyway it's just a, a folklore but I got this one because they're they're pretty expensive to get imported next year I am going to buy me a big schmokamon which <clears throat> we're talking about 50 or 60 dollars so but it's something I've wanted my mother had one and she won't pass it on so I'm gonna have to buy my own um, but and she may have passed on my brother or sister, and I just don't know it, you know. <laughs> it might not be that she just didn't want to pass it on. She only has one, so she's going to have to pick a child. So, I have an opportunity to buy another one, so I am going to buy a schmuck on. Um, let's see, what else? I did get my traditional Liebkuchen and Pfeffernuss and my orange hard candies um and i did pick up 
I got these just because they're cute. And I'm going to put them in some very special people's um, Christmas cards. But they're little tags. I like a little key ring, keychain. I don't know if that's going to... Ah, sorry, hit a button. No. <laughs> that wouldn't happen if RJ was here, right? Um, I don't know if they're going to focus because they are like hard plastic. They're, I want to say laminated, but it's thicker than lamination. So they're like little bottle tops. Um, but I'm going to put some of these. This one right here is for my brother. Kiss me, I'm German. This one is for my sister. And it says, everybody loves a German girl. This one is for my niece, who actually grew up in Germany. They, My sister married a, a military man, and they ended up back in Germany. So, then I have this one for a girlfriend that grew up with me over there in Germany. So, and then one of these I'm going to send probably to my mom or something, and then one for myself. I don't know which one I'm going to keep yet. Honestly, if I was going to keep one, it'd be this. I should have gotten two of those, but I didn't. Faust is what they say with beers, you know, kind of like toast here. You know, they, they don't say t the word toast, but we say post and drink your beer. I don't know. I guess it's a word for, I don't know how to explain it. But, uh, it is what it is. <laughs> I'm not a good drinker, but anyway. And then I did pick up one, um, Christmas present. I'm going to send this to someone. But this is a castle that we've all visited, Neuschwanstein. And, um, it's beautiful. It's on a court. It's a trivet. It can be a trivet or it can be a coaster. I think it's too big for a coaster. The lady said she liked to use them for coasters, but... I'm thinking like a trivet. So, I'm sending that as a gift. Um, oh, I think that's about it. Um, then yesterday when RJ was gone, I had a chance to go to do some Christmas shopping. I know, it's the first part of the week, but here's the thing. Let me show you. Um, I mean, it's the first part of the month. I love Christmas. Um, I just always have. I don't make any bones about it I don't hide it my daughter loves Christmas she starts counting down 360 four days until Christmas um, this is my calendar for December and if you look looks like it's loaded I have a couple of events a couple of things that we've got to do but <laughs> um, the Kuss Klingelmacht is on the first I made my candy bags yesterday today is the first day of Advent, so I'll be doing Advent. Um, the fourth, I will decorate the house. I'll finish up decorating the house because honestly, I had to dig it down my Advent wreath. So I've kind of already um, started decorating, as you can tell from this stuff up here. It's not done, but I will finish decorating the house tomorrow. Um, then on Tuesday, I'll decorate the outside of the house. By Wednesday, I have to have my letter finished, which I've already started, my Christmas letter. I will mail out all the Christmas cards on the 7th. Um, on the 8th, I will set the menu. 9th, I'm going to wrap gifts. You get the drift. Um, I do one thing Christmas throughout the entire month of December. It's just what I do, and I always have my hat on. Um, when I worked at the shelter, people just thought it was funny. I always have my hat on. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm pretty much gonna go there you know I mean that's just the way I am my daughter and I both love Christmas I love the whole season um it's just what we do I've already bought my um hot chocolate mixes um which I do an array we have a little welcome basket um I bought my eggnog I will find a good bottle of wine for Christmas that will be my task I'm hoping to have I talked to the lady at the liquor store Linda who has watched RJ grow up, um, and she pretty much tries to get me anything that I ask for, um, but she is looking for a good red, German red wine, so, yeah, she's gonna find one for me, and if she does, I'm gonna pick up two bottles of that, and then, um, I'm going to, uh, make blue wine. I, I've got two tries to get it right. I'll probably drink what I get wrong anyway, but anyway, um, so, 
Uh, what else is going on? Um, just, just Christmas, just getting ready for Christmas. Um, I just honestly feel like it's not about Christmas, it's a journey to get in there. It's, it's putting that spirit in the air. Um, really proud of RJ this year. Um, he's not griping and I, I don't, uh, I don't know why. Normally he is like bah humbug if I turn on the Christmas music. Um, something in him has changed and I'm not sure what. He just tolerates it more or whatever. I don't know. He's had a lot of things happen this year that have showed him people that are ungrateful and some things happen that, you know, just on a personal level, he's like, really? Did that just happen? Um, did they really say that? Or did they, and, and I think they've impacted him more than, than many years, but I think it might be that he's growing up. So anyway, um, he's kind of getting in the Christmas spirit, not over gung ho, you know, he's just never been gung ho about the holidays. But he is tolerating a little bit more, and he's helping me, so I'm happy with that. I'm trying to think what else I have. Um, I did do the kids' stockings. That's one thing. Um, we draw names, so there's only um, three of us. There's RJ, there's my daughter, and then we do mom and dad together. And we do my daughter and her husband together. We get a, a family, something that they can do as family. And... Uh, so, she doesn't watch this, so I'm not worried, but um, he picked her up. RJ drew her name. I drew RJ's name, and they drew mom and dad's name. So, um, literally, it's one gift, something they can actually use, no matter how silly. We do put a limit on it. We don't want it to be more than about $25, $30. It doesn't need to be extravagant, um, but something useful. Uh, this year... Um, I'm getting RJ a new head stall, and it, it's a whole setup. It's very beautiful. Um, a little bit more expensive than we normally spend, but honestly only by about $20. So his is going to be about $50, $55. But um, that's okay with us. That's okay. Because it's something he'll use, and he'll use for years and years and years. Um, he picked up his sister a Roku, and then Dad and I put her together a little basket with some big mugs and some soups and some popcorn some hot chocolate um put it all in a little bowl so she'd have the little extra bowl um that kind of stuff so we don't and we did it at dollar tree daddy and i did it at dollar tree to you know to help them they're upset because they really don't have a lot of money they can't afford to do this but we're trying to teach them that when you get to be older like us Lee and I seem to have come to this point where we sit and talk about the memories we're not really making anymore. And it's because I'm making more with my kids. Does that make sense? Um, Lee just doesn't, he wants to sit in front of the TV, drink some pop, you know, he just, he's not, I don't know. I, I don't know how to explain it. He just is not very active and he's not out making, um, new memories so I'm making memories with my son and my daughter <sighs> I don't know and so we're to a point where we really don't make as many memories but we do sit and talk about the ones that we made with the kids when they were younger I don't know it's just a cycle so I told my daughter I said worry about making memories don't worry about the money so that's what we're trying to teach her this year um, and hence the Dollar Tree little gift to go with what RJ got her, and then when they do have two dollars, they can get on like, um, oh, I don't know what it's called, uh, Voodoo or Amazon Prime. You know, you can rent a movie online um, for the night or whatever for like two bucks. So you know, it, that's cheap enough, affordable enough, and something they can do together, especially if they've got popcorn or you know some little snack, something to make it special. So. We're doing that. Um, other than that, I really, I've got to get on the spinning for Wolfest. Um, I'm going to spin and then I'm going to dye it. So it will be, you know, I'll have color coordinated. Um, other than that, I think that's about it. I'm going to get off of here. I've got to gather up that stuff in the pasture. 
go work on those hay mangers and watch out for my mechanic to come. Yeah. Flushed radiator and new spark plug. Yay! <laughs> I know it's not much, but we do a little at a time. So, um, the other thing that I do have to do is I have to go and get, um, and it'll happen this week, um, I have to go and get the rafters so that we can get the other two stalls, uh, get the tin on. <laughs> Boy, I'm having trouble with words today. I need more coffee. I need more coffee. Um, no, uh, RJ keeps me awake, but what it is is I was up late. My brain just doesn't function. Then I got up and I had to do all the chores by myself. And normally I have, you know, somebody to help me. It's not a bad thing for me to do them by myself every once in a while. Kind of keeps me in check. But it can be a lot of work. So, um, anyway, I'm going to get off here. I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And to all of our new subscribers, if you're watching this all the way through, <laughs> they get better. They're, they're, we're kind of candid. Um, if you're looking for regular edited videos, this is not the place. This is candid, hardcore life as it is one take wonders as we call ourselves so um welcome to you don't forget to hit the notification and like and subscribe button we will talk to y'all later bye